everyone. Welcome back. I'm Julie. I've been getting a lot of requests from you ladies for me to do a a wearable work look. And so this is it. Um, it is just muted browns and cream colors with, a, you know, with regular eyelashes, no falsies or anything like that. I did try to do a winged liner. <laughs> and I did, mind you. But they just look so so terrible on older eyes they really do and I used um, because I had you know because I used browns I used this old NYX um, eyeliner in coffee extreme coffee that I had and it's like a a slight um, sheen to it or something I'm not sure but what I found out see it's just a brown a really pretty deep rich brown but this is so old that it cracked on my eyelids. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know that until I had made the video and I went back and was looking over it and editing it. And I saw that it, you know, you could see that it looked like it had fallen into my eyelid wrinkles for crying out loud. <laughs> and what it done, what it did was cracked. I mean, and I actually could pick it off. So, yeah, it's going in the garbage along with this purple one here that I got at the same time. It makes me sad to throw the purple ones away, but I can never wear them. I won't never wear them, and they're too old and they're cracking, so I might as well throw them away. So, also I wanted to mention something. You guys, a lot of you know by now, I have the ability to look in two different directions at one time. I know it's freakish, but I can. And I notice in my videos, I will catch my eye drifting over, like, like, I've, like I've got the opposite of cross-eyedness or something. And what it is, is I'm looking at the camera and my other eye is trying to look at the, view, at the viewfinder. <laughs> and it looks freakier than hell. I don't know if anybody else has ever recognized it or noticed it, but it's kind of freaky. But that's all that's happening, is that I think my eye's doing it now. My eyes are trying to look in two different directions at the same time. My, my brain, I only do that when I'm starting to get tired, and it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, so that's the only time it ever happens when my eyes seem to have a life of their own and they want to look at, you know, God knows what, if I was like ever a, you know, like a meth head or a tweaker, I probably would be all googly-eyed and, <laughs> woo! Anyways, so this is the look I came up with. Very, very simple. Nothing that you have ever seen on me before. If you like this look, then keep watching. Hey, everyone. Okay, I am going to start out with a pile of brushes. <laughs> okay, I am going to start out with an Ulta, a matte shade that I have from Ulta, and this is in Sunrise. And I don't know if you guys have ever tried these Ulta um, eyeshadow pots that they have, but the mattes are fantastic. I actually had, look at that, holy crap. I had actually um, had an order in at QVC to get the IT palette, the um, Naturally Pretty palette, which I've had before. My grandson accidentally crushed it, but I had an order in to get that, and I probably will still go back and get it just for my collection, but I was in Ulta the other day, and I noticed that they had these shadows on sale for three bucks a piece, so I started looking around, and I had never gotten them, and all of the mattes were gone, <laughs> all of them. All they had left was a bunch of metallics and shimmers. And so I started digging around the shimmers, and I found this one mat back there. And I grabbed it, and I opened it up. I did, because I figured for three bucks, I'll buy it whether I like it or not, you know. And I opened it up, and was like, oh my gosh. And I stood there in the store like, oh, oh, lava, <laughs> you know. And the girls were like, ah, Julie, look, at Julie's on drugs or something. I don't know what the heck they were thinking. They all know me really well in there. And so, of course, I dug through the rest of everything, trying to find some that made a fell back there or something. And finally, I'm like, oh, piss on it. And so I came home. I canceled my order with QVC for the IT palette because it's on back order till the end of May anyways. And so I canceled it, and I went on to Ulta site, and I ordered all of their matte shades. They are on sale for $3 a piece. You get 2.5 grams of product in these pots and they are beautiful super super creamy buttery uh, blendable I mean just beautiful Ulta website and I ordered every mat that they had in these pots super excited okay anyways I already primed my eye with my uh, coastal scent step one primer 
And I'm just trying to get through that. I've had it forever, and I'm trying to get through it. So I am taking the Ulta Matte Shade in Sunrise. And I'm just going to cover out my eye with it, because I'm, I'm trying to cancel out the darkness that you see there. And then I am going in with my one of my dollar store finds. I love these little palettes. I've got the whole baked collection. And this is the Physician's Formula Luminous Matte in Baked Butter. And I'm going in to this shade right here. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease a little bit. Not a whole lot. You're not going to really be able to see it much. But it's going to help me transition out the brown. You know, I'm you guys have, most of you that are watching me now, you've seen my videos enough to know that this is not a normal look for me. <laughs> but, really, I'm doing it for one, because it was requested, but for two, to show the other beauty bloggers in the world that I can do just as beautiful as a very soft, I don't know what people would consider age-appropriate eye, but I prefer to have just a little bit more color. That's just me. Okay, okay then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I am just going into the brown. And I am putting that right where the brown should go. <laughs> now, when you have a hooded eye, you want to go, you want to find where your crease or where your um, socket is, you know, which mine is right there. That's where it is. Unfortunately, my eyelid hangs over it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my eyeshadow right where my crease is, like right so that the top of your eyeshadow is right beneath or right at your uh, your bone right there. You can feel it, okay? So I know sometimes when I'm putting my own eyeshadow on, I think, ah, oh, it's, it's half of my eyelid. My eyelid's a mile long, but socket ends right there. I mean, I have this enormous eyelid. <laughs> I'm going into the brown. And... I'm just doing what you guys have seen a million other bloggers do. I know. Because I've seen it too. <laughs> this is the absolute, definite, definitely the most subtle look that I have ever done. I'm just taking my Sanya Kushik brush and just blending a little bit and seeing where we're at and you want to build your color up real slow when you're when you're working with hooded lids and trying to basically create a crease you know because you just want to <laughs> and these oh, these physicians formulas it is just too bad that uh, you know, so many people have the aversion to, well, their dollar store makeup. I won't have that on my face. Get the f*** out of Dodge. Absolutely gorgeous baked shadows. I am so happy with these. This one is called Baked Butter. Baked Butter. Go on ahead and hate all you hater. Well, i um, got more money in my pocket than you do. Okay, then. Let's put this back in that socket a little bit. Okay, and then I am going to take just a, a small little, uh, you know, this is a Bare Minerals Double Ended, but it's just a little shadow brush, and that is what I like to use. I'm going into the brown to make this, you know, the outer V, except I'm trying to make it a little bit more subtle with the, you know, with the look I got going on. So instead of a sharp V-like edge that I would normally do, I'm just going to kind of bring it around in a circle like this, you know, kind of a half moon shape. And I will clean the, corner, the outer edge up. I always have to. and then I'm going to go into this peachy color in there 
and I'm just going to blend that brown out with it. It's not really, you know, it's a brown. It's more like a milk chocolate brown, I guess. I'm going to go right on the edge of that darker color. You know, I see a lot of the mistakes that gals make on here. Uh, I see them making the same mistakes that they take when they go to do their blend, you know, their transition color out. They take it above the color that they're, you know, that they're trying to blend out. And you don't want to take it completely above it. You want to take it a little bit into that color and, and pull it up. And I, I guess that's, you know... Um, I'm thinking that this eye is a little bit lighter, so I'm going to take just a little bit more brown out here in the corner. I'm a little bit darker on this side, the, the light is a little darker over here than it is over here, so I'm always like, you know, mm, mm, mm. but I think that looks, if it's uneven, it's because of my lighting. <laughs> Okie dokie. Then I am going to take that little brush that I was just, um, you know, doing my bling with. And I'm going to take the brown, the darkest brown color. And also, I have heard a lot of gals on here doing tutorials for their hooded eyes or older eyes or whatever that do not take their bottom color all the way across. And I personally think that that's critical on smaller eyes. If you've got bigger eyes, you know, if you've got big round eyes, you don't want to take it all the way across because it's going to it's it's going to make your eyes look even bigger. You know, you want to take it just about halfway or even a, just a third of the way. But if you have small set eyes like I feel like I do, I take it all the way across and I just feel like I'm uneven if I don't. Oh. Take that color all the way across. Yeah, this is definitely such a change from what I would normally wear. <laughs> and then I am taking another small brush, okay? And this one's got a liner on the on the end, and I'm going to go into that peachy color. And I'm just going to blow that out a little bit down there, okay? Run it right on the edge of that brown. And it just gives it a you know, a little bit more softer, a little softer of a, you know, of a color. And then I'm taking this small liner pencil and taking a little bit more of that brown and I'm pushing it right into my lashes right there, into my bottom lashes. Okay, just like that. And then I am taking this here eyeshadow pencil. And I am going into this one I just showed you, which is Seashell from Ulta. Love these shadows. Love, love them. Okay, I'm taking some of that, I'm packing it on my eyelid. I put my eyelid color on last because I'll, when I'm blending out, I'll pull it up into where I don't want it. So I just do it at the end. Um, to tell you the truth, when I was in school, we weren't taught to put the lid color down. We were taught to, you know, whatever works best on you, whatever you like the best. But there was never any set rule of putting your lid color down first. I don't even know where that rule came from because I was never taught it. I, I had never heard of it until I came on YouTube. That's, you know, and then it, I get to YouTube and everyone's like, well, put your lid color down first. And I'm thinking... That's weird. I've never done that before. So, whatever. I'm taking that same with the little, um, the end of that other bare minerals brush, the little pencil part. It's not really a pencil. It's a fine, fine brush. Almost like a lip brush or something. I don't even know where I got this brush. I've had it for so long. And I'm bringing that down just a little bit. Just a little. Just blend it in with that, you know, with that other color down there, that brown color. Okay, that's it. And then, as a last thought, and I don't know why I did this, but Studio Eyeliner in Extreme Coffee, and it's got just a little bit of glimmer, glitter to it. Normally, I wouldn't do it anyways, but I'm doing it. <laughs> so...
Okay. My forehead just got a total freaking workout. There. <laughs> I, I hope they're a little bit even. This one looks like it's a little bit out further, but I don't care because I just had to like carve my eye up trying to get that thing correct. I hate liquid eyeliners. But as you can see, I put it very, very close to my eyelashes in a very thin line. I personally think that liquid eyeliners really, really age, you know, older eyes. I do, I, especially when they're really thick. And then I am going to take, once again, this matte color. And I'm going in with another shadow brush. And these are the Up and Up brushes from um, Target. These regular shadow brushes are beautiful. So soft. I really like them. And I'm just taking some of that matte and popping it under my eyelid, or under my eyebrow. Okay, and that's it for the eyes. Now, let me tell you a trick, and I learned this from my instructor years ago. If you have eyes that are not so white, you know, that the, the whites aren't so white, or if you're wearing something, a look that you really want your eyeball itself to really stand out from the makeup, you want to put the the color that looks the best to make your the whites of your eyes look whitest is a pale purple and i've used this trick forever and i get comments your eyes are so you know the whites of your eyes are so white they're blue but actually no they're not <laughs> but this pencil or any pale purple makes it look like they do and my all time favorite is the Laura Geller in Purple Rain and i have purchased i don't know how many of these pencils and that goes in the waterline. I'm going in with my tight line from IT Cosmetics. And I adore this mascara. Okay, and that's it. It super super simple look, easy to do. Brown sugar UD brow box. And I will go in with a little bit of cream brulee from Mac, creme brulee. And I'll just pop that right under my brow. And it's, you know, very very subtle. I don't think I got this one. Very subtle. It's not nothing that's going to bam in your face. And never, ever anything shimmer. I, I don't even like it on younger women, but that's just me. And then I will go in to this, um, this one right here, and, and I will put this right under my arch. And it, you know, you, you're not putting it enough to really notice it. And then you, you know, blend it out a little bit, but it really does make a difference in lifting your brows up. It really does. Okay, and that's it, you guys. I think a perfect lippy for, uh, you know, for this look is the e.l.f. Um, conditioning lip balm in Mellow Melon. And it is the beautiful coral color that they have. I love this stuff. Mm-mm-mm. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's just such a beautiful color. And it and you can shear it out or pack it on as much as you want. It's just so pretty. Okay, that's it, you guys. I hope you liked this look. It's very, very subtle, simple. At least it is for me. Um, this is about as simple as I get. And it's just a very, um, very natural eye. So I hope you like it. And I'm going to try to edit this video down enough to where... I can leave it real time and maybe speed through the parts where I'm blend, blend, blending, you know. So um, I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you guys want to pick up some really good matte shadows, the product is really good. Um, you know, I'd say go down and get you. Actually, no, don't go to your Ulta. Just go online and order. You know, if they're having the $3 sale that like we are here, they're probably all going to be wiped out. But again, these are the two mattes that I picked up. Ultra buttery. Ultra buttery ultra pigmented just beautiful beautiful shades so so i love you all so much if you like this tutorial give me a thumbs up and oh 
Got to plug my website. www.bigskybeauty2010.com is up and running. There's nothing there, but <laughs> there's a few things there, but not much. But I am working on it. Um, I'm getting ready to, you know, pretty soon you're going to go there and it's just going to be loaded down with stuff. And we are taking, I am going to take um, viewer submissions. So if anybody creates a look on their phone cam or whatever, um, just fire it off to me. I'm going to have a link where you can upload it. Fire them off to me and I'll make sure that there's nothing in there that's inappropriate and it'll go up on the site. I'll give you all credits and everything. If you have a channel, I'll direct over to the channel, you know. So that's all, you guys. I love you so much. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. Fail. <laughs> Okie dokie. Cut!